Hey YouTube, it's Laura here with Little Lights by Laura, just showing you another quick trick on how to make a font look how you want it to look. So I'm going to show you um, this font called P. Ellie Belly, and I love this font, so I'm just going to write that. And this is really cool. If you were going to cut this out of vinyl and you kind of wanted to maybe do like heat transfer vinyl and put this on a t-shirt, um, all of this, these little things would be left out. So you'd have to weed all of this out, which that seems like a nightmare to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, take away the color so you can see it better. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And what you're going to do is you're going to ungroup this, and then you're going to release the compound path. Now, I'm going to go back through, I'm going to hold my shift key, and I'm going to click on everything I want to keep. So I'm taking the middle part of the O and the middle part of the E, everything that I want kept. I need the dot of the I, I need the F. Whoops, I don't like that that happened. You can see the boxes are going away. That's a good thing. There we go. I need the whole N. And I need the T. Good. Now all of the little stuff is selected. So I'm just going to hit delete on my keyboard. And it's that easy. From there, you can just select everything and make it a compound path, or you can release your compound path, and you can, whoops, stack it up, make it a compound path that way, whatever you want to do. But now, if you go back in, and all of those little specks are gone, and you're good to go. From here, if you still love this, but you're afraid that these lines are going to be way too thin, um, you can go in and offset and drop this to, let's see, 2.5 and hit apply. And now you can pull this away and now you can make this a compound path. And we'll fill that in so you can see. There you go. So now you have um, bolder lines. You can see the difference. This is um, offset and this is how it was when you started. So the bottom one now is going to cut and weed much simpler. So just something fun you can try and mess around with. Hope that is what you needed to learn from this tutorial. Um, please comment below if you need anything else and I'll be happy to try and um, put together a tutorial for something specific for you. Thanks so much and enjoy.